the day mess checking in and yes we're back again with another video another banger for you gentlemen yes i am here i'm gonna get right into this one um for you fellas who are again following because what what, what you're looking at is just tracking the trends now it the cat is out of the bag so what we're preparing for now is the fallout to come see your I would say governing powers, they know this was to come. You've never seen, just think about a country who is pretty much flourished and advanced. They always prepare for evolution, if you will. They always prepare because they create the change in which they want. So they have things in place to welcome it. You have the, the highway system. The highway system is just not a byproduct of hey let's put a road here hey let's put a highway there if you look at the highways and byways it is a it's a system of travel in which all type of commerce takes place whether that's business yeah personal have all type of ways to get around this world none of this is by happenstance so with the current climate in america when it comes to you know not even just just take dating out of it just the way men are viewed and not heard you're going to have men rebelling in their own way it's almost like a silent protest this is what you're having a lot of men they're voicing their opinions the more boisterous ones the more opinionated men that you may see on these platforms they will come and tell you why and what they think the analysis is such as myself but you're going to have others that are just going to they feel no need to give an explanation because they don't feel it would be heard or understood or even respected. So they are just going to walk away. They're walking away. You look at the labor force for men. You look at the relationship decline, the marriage decline. They, you don't think America knows this was taken. This was the intent. This is why you have the gender. Everything now is, you know, neutral. Everything now is, uh, is this way, is that way. But if I keep your mind on consuming, on decadence, pleasure, you won't care about none of that for the most part. You, because your lifestyle that has been, you know, designed for you is work 40 to 60 hours a week, if not more. And you also have to get a part time job. So building so much stress on the body and the mind the time that you get away from those stressors you're going to seek pleasure it is the extreme opposite so you won't care about a lot of the things that are affecting you indirectly and directly as well as your children you won't care but the men that are not in these situations the men that are coming up they're paying attention to the environment and they're going to do everything they can to keep themselves safe and unaffected by said environment. The men will revolt. The men have started revolting by excommunicating themselves from the marriage and dating pools. Men don't approach me anymore. Men are not applying for jobs. Men are not actively seeking going to work under the co corporate umbrellas and if you if you look at it they're almost treating the job market the same way they're treating the dating market they're just opting out because they feel none of their efforts will be respected anyway they'll hire you for a little bit you know until volume decreases until ai increases and we have other ways to cut costs you again you'll be you'll be one of those layoffs so men are just opting out they don't want to do the rigmarole that they've been doing for so long that has gotten them nothing you're almost like a bot you work you look at as a do boy your women don't respect you in a lot of cases your children won't respect you because your woman doesn't so by default, the children are usually going to mimic the mother because they're around the mother most of the time. In most of these situations, very rare where the son can go to work with daddy. Daddy has the business. I'm bringing my son is going to come to work with me starting at six years old, seven years old. So they can be running it by 18. 
See, we what we have done in our society, they've created these timelines as far as men's development, which are not in accordance with our biology. I seen a video of a, uh, it was, a, I think, an Austrian man, and he was like, you're 17, the American 17 and the Austrian 12 year old damn near has to have the same responsibilities and duties and mindset. And I'll say that again. He said a 17 year old male in America and a 12 year old boy in Austria. It could be a different country, but I think he said Austria have almost the same type of responsibilities and duties as far as taking, you know, looking over the house and, you know, doing certain things. So they put us on a timeline which doesn't give us the optimal potential. We can't really optimize when you say, well, it takes you 12 years to graduate. Or I'm sorry, yeah, uh, if you want to do 12 years to graduate after you start school at six. But you see these anomalies more and more and more well. Well, this, this girl graduated at 16. This boy graduated at 14. This guy graduated at 15. She graduated college at 20. You see, so we just, we, we tend to follow suit. We just follow suit. So the men are looking at the results in which they've, they are getting that, well, I'm not going to go, I'm really not going to go to college and get a degree that's, that is going to take me 100000 to get to get a salary at 60 that's taxed, so I'm only going to be getting 40. That doesn't really make a lot of sense now, does it? So you're going to have men that are going to silently revolt, silently, you know, a lot of corporations are going to lose. I think you saw the, the bridal shower, the bridal stores, a lot of them closing. Yeah, you're going to see the economy is going through a metamorphosis right now. You just look at it again. Look at everything that's taking place. All you have to do when you see a sequence of events, and this is just to speak some common sense. When you see a sequence of events occur in the manner of which you've seen, please understand these events are not just something that random. Think about it. How can you have events of such magnitude be so random and consistently follow back to back to back to back. But anyway, has anyone heard about P. Diddy lately? I ask again, has P. Diddy been in the headlines following his suit and such outrage that came about when the video came out? Not have they haven't. OK, I was just checking. I was just checking. But yes, we have come to a. We're coming to a screeching halt and a full on overhaul in America. This is going to be a very tough and trying time for those who are still thinking and considering marriage. Again, choose wisely. I am pro marriage and pro family. However, I'm pro survival and evolution because without evolution, you won't survive. You will die off. The weakest will die off first. So if you don't see yourself being around, one thing that I have to respect about a lot of men, such as, you know, I look at a lot of artists, such as a fabulous, the Jim Jones. These men have been doing what they are doing now for the last 30 years plus. It's about how long can you let you seen the movie Scarface. It's not about how high you can go. It's about how long you last in this business. Show me your resume. How long can you last? Le 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 LeBron, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant. How long can you last and what are you doing in this seat? You know, what, what does it show that you've done? Where's your body of works? You're going to have some people leave this planet without an ounce or any type of work they've created or put out because of fear, fear of critique, fear of judgment, as if everything is not critiqued and judged. You critique everything you buy and, and consume and you critique and judge it. So why do you fear putting something out that will be treated the same? Either people like it or they don't. And if they don't like it, create something that they do like. Or could, could critique what you've created to their liking. 
But yes, a lot of men will leave this plane without any works, without any seeds. It, it, no ideas. Just accumulation of bullshit and clocking in for Mr. Weinstein. Shout out to my guy Sub-Zero. Mr. Weiss, who just got the private plane. Who just got the private jet. His kids are taken care of for the next millennia. But yes, the men will revolt. The, the frustrations have grown to the point. Again, you just listen to some of the conversations. It's, it's no point in having conversations with a lot of people. And I notice, you know, you go into certain conversations and you start to see the disconnect in what you're saying. And it's like, it's that bad. It is that bad. You see the disconnect in their faces when you're conveying logic like this. How is this? How does this not process? So you must understand that it's almost like trying to buy something that doesn't work. It's a brisa defect. But yes, I don't blame the men for revolting and not paying going to just look at the church. Still pull pit pimping. The fact that. We, as black American men and women, are still making these pastors rich is beyond me. It is insane. It's insane that we're that indoctrinated and drunk and hypnotized to where we're doing something that yields almost no results. Now, some people may say, well, it works for me. OK, it works for you. But for the most, it doesn't. It just does not. But yes, this 2024 season in the 2020, like I said, this is just the beginning of this. Just is the tip of the, of the iceberg, gentlemen. As you rebel, the women will respond. The people will respond. So you must stay steadfast and aware that you may be targeted in some form, shape or fashion. I'm going to tell you what I noticed with, when it comes to women in some scenarios more so than not if a woman can't manipulate you into you know sexually or gain some attraction or you're not trying to talk to her or you see they you more likely are going to have problems with that woman because she can't understand why these guys are not trying to you know sleep with me why they're not trying to get the one thing i know i only I, the only thing i know that i have to offer they're going to start to question it and it's going to they're going to start to get some resentment and they'll create these issues with you, giving you these labels that you're undesirable. No, ma'am, you're undesirable. So when women can't manipulate men sexually and they have an agenda or if it's they come in prison, they don't feel pretty or secure or whatever the case. In a lot of cases, you may end up in some issues, some disagreements and some hard feelings toward one another because the. The bitterness is going to expose itself. I'm in a room full of guys and none of them have tried to hit on me yet. So it makes them question their sanity and their value. But we'll get into this more. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. It's the Date Master.